Welcome to your practice today. My name is Lindsay and I will be guiding you through a practice where we're going to explore one of the Hermetic Laws. And the Hermetic Laws are the seven laws of power that give us a clearer understanding of how the world works, how we work, how the universe works. And this particular law that we're going to be working with today is the law of gender. And this law states that everything has masculine and feminine within it. And this is typically explored in a yoga practice, like a yin-yang style of practice. Um, today, we're going to try and weave that law in through all of the movements that we do and all of the postures that we do. And um, knowing, too, that the right side of the body typically represents the male or the masculine side of us, and the left side of the body is representative of the more feminine side of us. So as we're going through this, I really encourage you to take note if one side of your body feels stronger than the other, if one side happens to feel more open or more flexible than the other, and also notice if there's any points of resistance from working on one side in comparison to the other. And all of this information can just give you so much more knowledge about your own self and then where you can do your own. Now we're going to add a little bit of movement in the body. So with your next inhale breath, reach your arms all the way up. You can start to open your eyes as well and look up into the space between your hands. And then as you exhale here, begin to twist towards the right. So the left hand can come across the right thigh and the right hand can come behind you. Now give yourself a little bit of support here with your hands as well. So use your back hand to give you more lift and lengthening through the spine. And use the hand against the knee to help turn and twist the body more around. And then start to incorporate your breath here also. So with every inhale, feel expansion through the lower torso. And as you exhale, engage and tone the belly and twist it more towards the right. Stay here for two more breaths. Now use your next inhale breath to bring yourself all the way back up to center. And then as you exhale, take your twist over to the left. So the left hand can come behind you, right hand across the knee. And then find that little support with the hands as well to help extend first and then begin to move into your rotation. Getting the core muscles and the breath online here as well. So every inhale, feel that expansion. And as you exhale, little engagement, tone the belly, twist more to the left. Two more breaths. Use your next inhale, bring yourself all the way back to center. Again, lift up, extend. And then as you exhale, take the right hand down towards the floor or down towards your mat on the side of your hip and slowly begin to lean over towards the right. Now, as you're moving into the side bending position, notice if the left hip tends to rise up off of your block or off of your mat. Try and glue it down, keep it connected to the floor and then lengthen away from that hip. Now find again, there's a little draw in of the core muscles. The front ribs are pulling in and then roll the left shoulder back and you can even tip your gaze up underneath your left bicep. Trying to move the breath more into the left lung here, finding that big release into the left side of the body. Two more rounds of breath. And then using your next inhale breath, bring yourself all the way back up. And as you exhale, the left hand can come right down, right arm extends. Walk the hand away from you just slightly and begin to lean over towards the left. Ensuring again that that right hip stays grounded and from that grounding point, reach and extend. Try and bring both of your shoulders more onto the back plane of your body. And then a slight turn of the torso as the heart reaches more upwards. Breathing into the right lung. And then find your next inhale breath. Bring yourself all the way back up to center. The left arm can come up one last time. Stretch. And as you exhale, release. Bring the hands all the way down. So if you are sitting on a prop, you can remove it now. And we're going to come onto the hands and knees. So finding a tabletop position and just ensuring here that your bones are stacked. So you want to place the knees right underneath the hip bone. The wrist should be aligned right underneath the shoulders. 
If you do find that your wrists get tender at this deep of a flexion, feel free to take the hands about a half a palm step forward to give the wrists a little bit of a break. Spread the fingers out nice and wide and really ground down into the index finger knuckle and then start to grip into your fingertips almost like a cat clawing into a carpet. And then use your next inhale breath to tip the tailbone up, let the belly soften down and rise the heart, slide the shoulder blades back. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone, round through your spine and draw your chin into your chest. Inhale again, come forward, lift the tailbone, soften the belly, open the heart. And as you exhale, tuck through your tailbone, round the spine and draw your chin in. Now continue with this linear movement through your cat-cow flow, syncing up the movement of your body with the movement of your breath. 